Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing some things that you can do in quarantine. So I just brainstormed a few things that I think nearly everyone can do. Obviously there are going to be like a few things that you can't do, like there's a few things that I've mentioned that I can't do, but yeah I just tried to cover as much as possible, as much as I thought were possible during this time. So yeah, let's just get right into these ideas. The first idea I have is to give yourself a routine. Whether this be a morning routine, a night routine, a fitness routine, just some sort of routine to go about your day. It just helps you feel a little bit more productive. Even just establishing a routine that you could possibly use when you would go back to your normal life. The next tip I have is to organize and clean your room. If you feel like your room's already organized and already clean, another thing you can do is just redecorate your room, like change the layout of it or just something of that sort if you'd like. The next idea I have is to organize and declutter your tech. During term I sometimes just have a lot of buildup of files and documents on my laptop so just migrating these into a hard drive. I will be doing a video on how to organize your laptop and your phone and also declutter them so that'll be up soon so stay tuned for that. My next idea is to organize and go through your wardrobe. So maybe your wardrobe is just honestly a mess. This is a great time to just clean it up, go through your clothes, see what you wear, what you don't wear, and the stuff you don't wear, you could donate to a charity. And if you can't go and donate right now, it's just good to just keep it somewhere that you can go and donate after this is all over. Or you can go and give it to a store. I know H&M has this whole recycling thing going on for like old clothes so that is a good way as well. Yeah, just don't throw your clothes away. The next idea I have is to fix up your home or the space that you're living in. Maybe there's just something that's broken, it's not working, or you've just left things because you just didn't have the time to fix them. Now is possibly a really great time to fix those things. The next idea I have is to dedicate a self care day or a pamper day at least once a week you are able to just relax and basically do nothing so this is a great time to just invest in yourself and invest in your well-being the next idea i have is to keep moving in our normal day-to-day -day lives even if you weren't like a full-on fitness fanatic going to the gym you still moved more or less so just not sitting in your bed the whole day and only getting up to eat just actually trying to put in some exercise or some form of movement so that you're not going to become lethargic because that's exactly what will happen to you. I picked up yoga during this time because I started feeling really tired during the day and I was like why am I tired like I'm doing absolutely nothing and the reason is is because I just wasn't moving my body. A great app is the Nike training app. Um, it has a whole bunch of workouts. They have yoga on there, they have ab workouts, they have a whole bunch of stuff. So just go check that app out, it's really great. The next idea is to video call friends and family that you aren't in quarantine with. These might be people that you never see and never have the time to talk to when you're busy. Or it could be people that you used to see every day and now you just don't. So especially if you're feeling lonely, this is a great way to just connect with those people again. Some ideas you could do with these people is, I know Netflix launched something where you can now watch movies together with people online. You can also play a whole bunch of online games, so yeah, just stay connected. Next idea is to actually do something with the people you're in quarantine with. This could be like setting up a game night, playing a board game, or even watching a movie together, cooking together. Just try and do something with the people you're in quarantine with. The next idea I have is to spend a little bit more time with your pets, so give them a little bit more attention, maybe try and teach them something if they're still quite young. The next idea I have is to read a book. I'm sure everyone has books in their house that they could read. If you've read all the books in your house or if you don't have books, you can also get books off of Amazon. Obviously these are Kindle books, but you don't need to have a Kindle in order to download and read them. I used to be a big reader and I kind of just fizzled out of it. So now's the perfect time for me to get back into that mode. The next idea I have is to download games from your childhood 
or just download games in general if you weren't a big gaming person. I had a Nintendo so definitely one of the things that I'm planning on doing is getting that out again and playing some games. The next idea is to learn how to bake or cook. So if you haven't learned how to cook yet, it is a very valuable skill in life. But try out some new recipes. Pinterest is a good place to find recipes. Also if you don't know how to bake, um, maybe just learn how to bake something. Another thing you can do is that if you have an instrument in your house and you don't know how to play it, is probably learn how to play it. The next idea I have is to learn how to paint or draw, so if you never had the time to paint or draw, yeah, it's just something that's really nice, very calming. The last idea I have is to learn a new language. I'm definitely going to be learning Portuguese during this um, time. It is something that I've put off for so long and I just want to get it done and I have the time to do so. Learning a new language is great, especially if you're planning on traveling and stuff. Duolingo is the app that most people use to learn languages. So that is all the ideas that I have for you guys today. Please share some other ideas that you guys have thought of or that you guys have been doing during quarantine. Leave them in the comments down below just so that we can share ideas with everyone. I have have just two things to mention. The first thing is that I'm going to be posting twice a week. I'm now on holiday for like the month of June so it's about four weeks so there's going to be eight videos this month. The days that I've picked to be posting is Saturdays as usual and probably Wednesday also at 11 a.m. The second thing is that I've just launched my website so it's going to be in conjunction with my YouTube channel and I'm also working on some like design stuff that is also going to be on there so please go check that out and yeah that is all I have to say to you guys today. I love you all so so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!